Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Satisfactory where I've got this big bugger blundering through my bloody base. Uh, I might have gotten a bit carried away doing stuff off camera and yeah, a lot more got done than I was expecting. <laughs> but I've chucked in all of the refineries that are going to be producing rubber and I've been trying to figure out how I want to handle the heavy oil residue because I kind of want to get some petroleum coke production up and running just as kind of like a, you know, kind of preemptively looking forward towards doing aluminium production. Because I know I'm going to need it for that, from what I've read online. So, these are going to be producing a hundred heavy oil residue. Let me have a look at, oh, I'm out of materials for making refineries. I hadn't even noticed. Let me just check with you. Uh, petroleum coke. So I'd be able to support two and a half of these if I was just running it off of this system. And then the others can go into um, fuel production. Because they'd be producing 100, 250. Hmm. Mm, yeah, okay, I'll think on that for a moment. Uh, you can go back to being rubber. I should go and grab some resources for more refineries, so let me just give myself a shopping list. I found that this is a much easier way of doing things. Uh, yeah, we'll go with another ten. I'll just go and grab some materials, and then we'll come right back and get on with more of this stuff. I mean, I might have some of the materials in these containers, actually. Let's have a quick look. Uh, I've got half the motors I need. Uh, some of the steel pipes. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go back to the main base and just find some stuff. I've got the uh, encased industrial beams I need anyway, so that I don't have to worry about. Okay, be back in a minute. Okay, let's see what I can do with these refineries now for fuel and uh, residual fuel and petroleum coke. So off that I could support two and a half of these. If I were to get an, ex an extra 20 residual oil from one of these setups, then that could work out even better. Okay, what I'm thinking I might do instead, I'm going to set four of these up with residual fuel. And that will leave enough to support 2.75 of these, so that's kind of close to what I would like to achieve. I guess a little bit more of a balanced sort of thing. Uh, yeah, that could work all right. So I'd send one of these, you know, outputs off one of these each to two refineries making... Okay, let me try and rephrase this. I'll plug one of these buffers into two refineries making residual fuel. That one plugged into two refineries making residual fuel. Then that plugged into three making petroleum coke but I'll also connect like a little off branch off each of these to feed into them as well. I hope that's making sense. That's kind of what I'm going to try and go for. So, let's set these up over this way. I think I'm going to need more concrete, yeah. So this will be the little platform for like residual oil processing. Uh, where do I want to start with this stuff. And how do I want to lay it out? Do I want to, what I'm going to do is like a column up this side with, okay. Yeah, let's put the petroleum coke ones on this side. We have two spaces. Put one there. One there. And then... Do I want to put a space in between these two? No, I'll just, I'll just do them like this. So... Residual fuel. From all of these. So 
So I should be getting... From each of these buffers, I should be getting 125. Which would be five more than these refineries need. Or what each pipe will be carrying, anyway. Now the tricky bit's going to be figuring out all the piping. I don't know, something like this could work. Okay, so just a three-way split into these ones. Uh, they all need their recipes for petroleum coke. And... Hmm. If we were producing at max, this would be 360, but I don't think we'll be quite there. Now I've got to figure out what I'm doing with the outputs on these. What fuck noises am I hearing? Crunchy business going on. Can any can any one of the big bloody balloon boys waddle it around? So it might be him. Let's start bringing some pipes around. Figure out where this stuff's gonna go. It's really annoying that I can't put, I can't build the stackable pipeline over these ones, like the the standard pipeline supports. But if I were to put, like, build it, oh, hang on, if I were to build it like this, it goes in fine. I don't quite get it, but eh, if I can get it to work, it works. So I think I stick that in the middle there. Put another junction like that. Then this can be for like all the runoff on this system. It's gonna be fairly imbalanced, I think, at the very least to start with. But I have a feeling the petroleum coke will, well, once the petroleum coke backs up, then all of it can definitely end up going into the, the fuel production. I'm just going to remove all of this shite so that I can get the stackers back in. Okay, took a little bit of fiddling, but I managed to get all that sorted. So, everything's plugged in over this way. Which is marvellous stuff. Now I just need to sort out outputs for these to go into fuel generators, which I would be able to support. Okay, 40 residual fuel, times 4, so what, 160? So I call that about 10 generators. There's a lot more than I was expecting. Am I sure this is right? And these are going to be needing, I'm going to be needing 240 a minute. This whole setup is going to be producing 250. So yeah, okay, that does make sense. I just feel like my maths is wrong on this. Uh, what do I know? I should probably know. Distributed power through. I'll do a similar thing with the outputs on this. So I'll just underslung them. I have them underslung. I need to go and put some floor in. Ugh. I'll have to do because I've run out of concrete. Could tear up some of the floor from that though, so could always be an option. Let me get my jetpack and whoosh. <laughs> now I don't quite know where I'm gonna be putting my fuel generators once those go in. I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. I just kinda of wanna get everything else in place first. Um, that's not the right spot. God damn it. I might feed this in. 
if I pull that out there, that is a straight line, good. Plug you in like that. These all actually need to be marked too, and all of my reinforced plate is over in containers over this way. So mark two lifts. And mark two belts. And then from here we can go into mark fours, so. Now, I've got to figure out how I'm going to weave all this shit around. And trying to weave it through that is going to be a problem. I kind of want to keep it on the same height level as the other belts. Because I think I can just about skirt them over the, the pipes that way. So I'm going to grab a Mark IV. I'll bring this belt out this way. So neat. Take those conveyor poles out of the way, and we've got outputs sorted for petroleum coke. And all that I'd need to do now would be to... Well, I think I've merged all of the outputs on the overflow storage. Because, yeah, we've got a little bit of plastic there. It's still fully filling up at the moment. Um, that's just because it's getting a trickle through from the other facility. Although this is nearly full. And the throughput on that will change as soon as I fire all of this system up. I'll have to get the outputs through to the uh, awesome sink all organized. But that's pretty much just plugging a belt up, so that's not too much work. Um, the only th other thing I think I need to do right now is... Uh, produce or set up a buffer for fuel. What materials have I got? I can do a regular fluid buffer. Have I got the materials for making an industrial one? So it would be good to build up a bit of a surplus. I have a feeling that I don't know. I mean, I can get plastic from here. I need the heavy modular frames. I'll set up a, a standard fluid buffer for now. I can always switch it out if I desire. Alright, there we go. Pretty much all I've got left to do is switch this whole system on. But I am lacking power shards, because I need to overclock all of these extractors. Are any of them currently overclocked? Nope. 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 And nope. Okay. I think it might be time for us to go on a bit of a slug hunt. So I'm going to dump some resources, because I don't need all this stuff. Do I have an object scanner with me? I don't. Okay, let me go and grab an object scanner, maybe some concrete. And we're gonna go slug hunting. Ooh, shit, driving through the gas. Shouldn't be doing that. I haven't got a gas mask. But there's a slug over there, so that's a good place to start. But I just need to get another nine uh, power shards, so we don't need to go looking for much. Do I have anything in these that might be helpful? Nothing in those, and just a load of steel beams in the tractor. I need to get that back into a system that can make, like, encase industrial beams or something. Right, object scanner. Take more nobelisks. And ammo. Got more steel beams there as well. God, I really need to get rid of those. Did I dump anything back into the hub? Uh, yes, but I don't need any of it. Oh, and I've got my gas mask on me. Fantastic. Hadn't even spotted that. Another thing I'm going to do is just grab some more fuel. And what am I going to swap my object scanner for? I can get rid of the chainsaw, I think. Scanning for power slugs. I'll take a few more stacks of fuel. Gas mask on. 
And thank you very much. Yeah. Out of range. So I think I'll just try and clear out like this area of the desert before anything else. I'm out of range of anything for the time being. But I might head over this way. See if the scanner is going to bring anything up. I'll check around the Oasis because th I'm not sure if there might have been one or two that I might have missed around there. Oh, there's definitely one up in that gas pocket. Ooh, pale berries. Nice, I need some of those. Um, thank you. Got more research I need to be doing on food stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm in range of something again. This way. I believe. somewhere. Oh. There's something underground. Oh, okay. Hello, Hoggo. Sorry, mate. I need to find the cave entrance. Where could it be? Or is it going to be somewhere down here? Like, off the edge of the cliff? Oh, let's have a look. I'm getting something over this way as well. I don't quite know where. One up. I don't think there's anything around this side. Now, I have been down here before. That must be the Caterium that I saw on the scanner that I just didn't pay attention to. Is that Caterium? Yes, it is. Pure as well. Okay, now I'm out of range, and I'm also out of ground to be walking on. Ooh, where could this cave entrance be? I'm hoping that if I can find it, it's going to be a good slug, like a yellow or purple one. Uh, that's not going to be it, is it? Please tell me that's not it, because I don't know how to get back out. No, I've got my fucking jetpack, what am I talking about? Let's go and have a look. Well, never fucking mind. Nothing down here. There's gonna be a hole around here somewhere. Where do I get in? Uh, also, here... A summer sloop! Oh, doggo! Doggo, hoggo! Oh, fuck. Reload quickly, quickly, quickly! There we go. It's a Mercer Sphere, not a summer sloop. I can't imagine it's going to be around here, because I can't, like, dive underwater. Ooh, this is going to intrigue the crap out of me until I find it. Is it in this area? Like, in amongst the gas? So I didn't see anything that looked like a pit. Oh, where do I go? How do I find it? I don't know. I could be searching for ages. So. Maybe worth it to just move on. Um. I don't know. I feel like there's another one down here. There must be a cave system somewhere. I just can't seem to find my way in. I 
Where go? What do? Ooh, hello. What have we got under here? Ooh. Um. Ah. I think I found my way in. I hope. Ooh, loads of bacon. Oh, we got a big fiery boy. Yeah. No, you back off, you back off. Where's he going? Nowhere. Okay, so there's a Mercer Sphere over this side. Oh, come on, fairy mate. Stick with me. There's some gassy stuff downstairs. So is there more to explore down here? Let's have a look. And I feel like there should be. But it doesn't seem to be it. Well, that does seem to be it, I mean. Oh. That was moderately disappointing. Okay, slug. Ah. Oh, got him! Nice! Well, that one's a yellow slug, so that's an improvement. again. Until I start coming back over this way, I'm assuming. I also want to see what's up on this little plinth. Little plateau. So, jetpack on. Oh, there's a big old fire ball. Don't seem to know I'm here. Oh, he's dead now. Ah, summer sloop. But yeah, whatever's around here is being v is evading my gaze, I suppose. I don't know where I'm going to try and find what's around here. Hmm. I guess we'll just keep heading south, see if the scanner starts picking up other stuff. Which it does. Ah, there's one up there. Nice. Where the fuck is it? Oh. Again, it seems like it's underground. This is proving to be quite frustrating. <laughs> oh, fucking Jesus. Okay, hi. Mm, nope. Oh, God. There's there's another one behind me. <laughs> oh, ow. Okay, thanks. Done the nudge. Whoa! <laughs> And take flight. Okay, might you be guarding a cave entrance? You were. Yes. Oh, it's fun having to like crawl around these now. Oh, bacon. Uh huh. Well, I finally managed to find like a cave entrance that yielded a slug. So I'm happy with that. Now if I could find more, that would be fantastic. Uh, out of range again. So, how many have I got? So there's another two... No, there's another six. In total. Yeah. What are my tricorder readings giving me? Something over this way. Uh-huh. 
What are you being guarded by? Another hog. Should be in the butt. Whoop! Ow! Oh, <laughs> these guys really just want to fucking rock it off into the stratosphere, don't they? Ugh, let's have a quick gasp on that. Oh, well, I've got another one up here. I can get my jetpack on for this. Any company? Oh, yeah, the fiery boy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just weren't paying attention that time, were you? I wonder where he's off. <laughs> I'm gonna lie down. Ooh, purple slug. I think I still need to research these, so that one might have to go to waste, unfortunately. I mean, I'd hope not, but... I do have a feeling that I haven't done the research yet. Okay, so I'm looking for something around here. Is it in the gas, or is it up on the plateau? Ooh, okay. peaks of these things, so... Oh, there you are. Yeet! Missed. Ah, oh, nice! <laughs> Just stick it to his fucking head. It's another yellow slug. So I think I just need, like, one more green, really. And I think I've got more in this. So... Chocks away! Oh, God. Thank you. Ah, this one's above me. Right. Oh, bugs. the rest of them. Oh, there's one. There's the other. Oh, fuck. I killed three of them. You only ever get three out of those. What do they change that? And I just didn't read patch notes or something. Oh, no, it's because there were two nests. Oh, that's alarming because then there are more bugs that I haven't killed. But I think I've definitely got more than enough slugs now. I could always try and find some more. But I'm... Oh! Okay. My beeping is getting very loud. Oh, is it under that rock? Seems like it. What do we got? Yellow slug. Nice. I'm gonna call that a good little jaunt. I think I've got enough. Oh, hello. Never mind. I found another one. Oh, and there's one up there as well. I'll stick around to get those. These two. If fucking fiery dickhead up there can stop spitballing at me, that'd be great. Look. Have these. Yeah. He's not even paying attention. So I suppose that works in my favour. that kill you? D yeah, there's no body left. Oh, he went down. <laughs> he fell down there. Lovely. Alright, come on. Let me up. Yeah, I love that. I don't know why I decided to stop breathing that, but, you know. We make 
odd decisions in our lives. There's another one around here as well. Ooh, there you are. Little gassy boy. Okay, I definitely feel like I've got enough now. So I think it's time to head back, turn them all into shards, and then we can overclock all of our productions and get that system running. Found another one just sitting out in the open. Okay. But seven green, five yellow, and a purple. That's not a bad haul. That's what, seven, 17... So 17 that I can definitely turn, or 17 shards I can definitely get. I think I need to chuck the la the purple one into the mam, so I will check that before we, we go on. All right, power slugs. Yeah, I still need to research purple power shards. But I don't have all of the materials for them at the moment, so that's not a big problem. For now, I just want to get back over to our oil processing. I'll craft these into shards. And then we'll overclock all of the machines there and get this system up and running. Overclocked to 150. You can start working again. Overclock you to 300. Um, production paused. No power. Oh, right, no power. Um, plug you in to that. Go. Oh, hang on. I haven't actually overclocked you. There we go. 300 a minute. 300 a minute. Let me get this one to 150. There we go. Now I need to power these pumps. Oh, that's all running. And the last thing that I need to do is connect power lines to all of this. It would help if I had the materials for making power lines. There we go. Oh, right, the, the pipes are still trying to fill, I think. Yeah, flow rate is not great at the moment, but there it goes. It's starting to kick in. S oh, sort of. It's fluctuating weirdly. Come on, come on. You know you want to do it. Probably just waiting for more pipes to fill. Oh, I think some of these are starting to work. Yep. We're starting to get plastic through. So we're starting to see some residual oil or heavy oil residue. These are starting to fill up. Rubber. Ooh, I'm liking this. We've got productions up and running. Switch over to my fast legs, thank you. The plastic has built up, though. It's completely backed up. Rubber's coming through. I mean, when we start seeing petroleum coke, that will be the real sort of kind of show of this system working. Oh, look at the rubber go! <laughs> I'm not seeing any signs of petroleum coke just yet. Oh no, hang on, it's starting to fly in. Yeah. 
There we go. Yes. Oh, man. It's taken a fair bit of work, but this system's finally online. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this episode off here. What I'm going to do in between is I'll sort out the overflow outputs here. Um, in fact, I could probably just drag that over here so we can keep it out of the way of things. And we can start getting some uh, materials back into the awesome sink. In fact, this is the belt for all of that stuff, so let's just plug this back in, just around here. And that can start flowing off to wherever it needs to go, which is the bin, essentially. But we can ensure that this system is running now and is going to be outputting a nice amount of stuff for us. Ah. Oh. That's some good shit, man. I'm chuffed with this. But we, it is pretty much just going to be nothing but plastic flowing through here at the moment. You know, we're massively overproducing on this system anyway for... Well, for what the belts can currently support. Not to mention all of the uh, other materials that are coming in from the other oil outposts. So I imagine things are going to back up pretty quick. I'm just hoping that things aren't backing up too much over there so that the power can keep running. Because we could have a problem if that continues to be a thing. But it looks like things are going okay on this belt. So that's not so bad. What is the power consumption like at the moment? Oh boy, that spiked. Considering we were running about 600 megawatts before switching this lot on. Yikes. But I can get another 10 fuel generators powered off what's happening here. So I'll probably set that up somewhere around this area. And that'd just be another layer to this whole facility. But I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I think we've got a good bit of production on just about everything. You know, we've upscaled the plastic, we've upscaled the rubber and we still managed to keep a bit of petroleum coke and some additional fuel production, so that's not bad. I think this air, this little spot has turned out quite good. Now we can turn our attention back towards supercomputers. So I think I'll do a little bit of work here off camera just to sort out the, the rest of the stuff, because I need to sort out an output for all the fuel, and to just do a couple of other little bits. Mostly going to be cosmetic at this point. And then I think we've done as much as we can with this oil spot. We're not going to be able to do any more with overclocking productions, so this can just kind of stay as it is. Unless I decide to change up this little section. But otherwise, yeah, I'm really happy with how this has turned out, so... I'm going to leave things off here for now, and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment, just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, jump me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. You wild bitch. <laughs> that was fantastic. Whoop whoop indeed.